You're watching Maryland's first television station. Now, WMAR 2 News. Today is February 7th. I'm Randall Newsom, and these are some of your top stories. Police say a man was shot after breaking into his ex-girlfriend's house. It happened just before 1.30 yesterday morning on West Garrison Avenue in North Baltimore. According to police, when the 28-year-old tried to get into his ex-girlfriend's locked bedroom, she shot him in the stomach. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. Well, college students are upset with the cuts being proposed in the governor's budget. Community colleges are losing $22 million as part of the governor's rebasing efforts as the state deals with the loss of federal funds brought on from the pandemic. Moore says that community colleges have gotten a boost in funding of $125 million since 2020 while seeing a decline in enrollment. Senate President Bill Ferguson met with the presidents of some of the colleges and said that the legislature will look into this issue. And Governor Westmore will hold his second state of the state today. He's expected to cover topics like education, transportation, crime, and the economy. You can watch the address live on our streaming platforms, as well as Facebook and YouTube starting at noon. All right, let's check out forecast meteorologist Stevie Daniels. A little chilly start to the day, Stevie. Yes, yeah, so we're also waking up to some frost out there this morning, but today will be a touch milder than yesterday. Temperatures for the most part will be ranging in the mid to upper 40s as we approach the afternoon. Temperatures right around Columbia should hit 48 degrees right around BWI 49. So a lot of locations will be hovering near that 50 degree mark. And we do have lots of sunshine in store for today with light winds out of the north. And that's going to remain the same case even throughout your Thursday before a shift in our winds a little bit more southerly later this week. That allows us to warm up and I'm tracking rain showers as we head into the upcoming weekend.